All right, y'all ready? Y'all get your wiggles out. Feel like we all just need to take a little stretch, a little wiggle. Uh, okay, I am so upset to be following Michelle Suchel because that was amazing. <laughs> Wherever Michelle is, you are amazing. I'm like, wow, you have to face every fear, okay? In this business, you have to face every fear, even if it's following Michelle Suchel. So thanks, Michelle. That was so good, so important. And I think a lot of what I'm gonna say is gonna echo um, just really a lot of what has been said already and building upon that. Um, I wanna talk to you guys today about personal momentum through purpose and identity. Um, when we were talking about what people needed to hear, um, you know, we, we talked about personal mom momentum. We have to have personal momentum in this business. Um, and, and when, when thinking about the root of personal momentum, I thought, well, I have personal momentum because I have strong purpose and I have strong identity and you need those, you need those in this business and you need to get clear on that. And I thought it was so funny because Sally's Monday night call was on purpose. And I was like, okay, some of y'all really need to get clear on your purpose because that's why all of that aligned. Right. Um, and so it's a part of my purpose to make an impact and empower you. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay. So what does personal momentum look like? First of all, personal momentum looks like leading yourself, number one, which we talked about today. So pay attention. That is so important. It's excitement. It's showing up with excitement. It's getting joins. It's creating silvers. It's developing leaders. It's adding value in the team page getting outside of your comfort zone and going live. It is taking the initiative to implement your own events, your own content, your own ideas, your own lives. You don't sit around waiting for somebody to tell you to go and, and find someone to collaborate with and go live on your page. You don't, you don't wait for your upline to do that. You have the idea and you implement it because you're excited and you lead yourself. Um, you do your own events. You figure it out for yourself. You don't you don't passively wait for anyone else to make it happen for you. Um, you actively seek out. I, what I see a lot of times with people who are in personal momentum, which can be felt, right? When you're talking to someone, you can feel who's in personal momentum. Like you can just feel it like, oh, that girl, she's on fire right now. Um, so a lot of times I see people like that who are actively seeking out and investing in themselves, investing in extra trainings extra courses, extra coaching. They're going above and beyond. They're, they're on social, they're on YouTube. They're, they're seeking it out for themselves to create more because if you're not hungry in this business, what you need to know is if you're not hungry, you need to eat more and then you'll get hungrier, which is backwards, but that's how it works in this. Okay. The root of personal momentum, like I said, is belief, right? We, we talk about belief a lot, but it is purpose and identity and you need personal momentum because it can be felt by everyone around you. You need it to attract the right people. You're not going to attract the right people. If you are not in personal momentum, that's why it's so important to get there. Because you're not going to meet someone, they're going to feel it. You're not excited about your business. You're not going to be bold and be like, oh my gosh, you should totally come on this retreat with me. I would love to see you there. If you're, if you're not in that place, you're going to, you're going to play small and you're not going to, you're not going to go there. Um, you need personal momentum to lead the people around you because you can't infuse people with what you don't possess. Why do you need to get clear on purpose? Your influence, productivity, resiliency, and grit flow from clear and powerful purpose. You won't be distracted by comparison, failure, criticism, or the new and shiny product, pro, uh, project, the new and shiny opportunity, the next best thing. Maybe I'll go and start something over here. You won't be distracted by that when you are captivated by your purpose here. Okay, so I want to impart some purpose on you. I want you to write down parts of what I'm saying that strike your heart so that you can start getting very clear on your own purpose and so that you can put it somewhere on your whiteboard, go and buy a whiteboard if you don't have one, go and get some dry erase markers and write on your mirror. Um, 
you need to write it and put it somewhere where you can see it all the time so that it can be a part of your daily life and can become a part of who you are. Okay. So just be paying attention to what, what, what strikes you. Okay. So first of all, what I, what I have to say is don't take lightly that there are people who are assigned to you. People whose breakthroughs are dependent on your obedience to this calling. Okay. People are waiting for you to be obedient, to be brave, to be bold. Okay. A couple days ago, I had, um, as soon as I really finished this, I thought this was so funny of God. Um, uh, I had a girl, uh, reach out to me wanting the business. Um, and you know what she said, she said, I'm looking for more purpose in my life. I'm looking for, um, something of my own. And I am, I'm tired of struggling. Things have been so tight. Groceries are tight. Inflation. I believe that there is a tide coming and there is a shift happening and you guys need to be ready. Things have been tight for a while. I know it's been a weird year and inflate all the things, um, but I believe that a tide is coming and I think you guys need to be ready for it. And that starts with per personal momentum, purpose, and knowing your identity, okay? Um, second of all, big fan of taking the strengths finder test. You need to know your strengths. It's a part of your purpose. It's a part of what will empower you and strengthen you to show up. It's a part of you when the doubt creeps in, you can say, nope, communication is my second highest strength. So I'm not going to be afraid because I know my strengths. I took the test. Okay. And it's also going to show you some areas that you need to grow in. Okay. When I took the test, I was a senior gold and um, discipline was like in my bottom three. So that wasn't good. And so I could have let that define me. But I said, you know what? I'm not going to let that define me. I'm going to work on it because I know I'm going to need some discipline to continue to be successful, okay? Um, so let me just tell you this about your, about your, a part of what could be your purpose, right? Write it down if it, if it, if it hits you, okay? So first of all, know this. You are called to be a woman of excellence here, okay? That means you show up and you give it your best. It is not perfection, it is excellence. You show up with excellence and it will glorify God and it will bless everyone around you because you are giving your all. You are called to make an impact, influence, inspire, and empower the people in your sphere, the people at your church, the people that you see at the gym, the people on your social media, the people in the grocery store. That is what you are called to do. You are called to empower people to get free physically, financially, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually through your influence. People are going to take the next steps into healing. They're going to become more self-aware because of you and the position that you're in, okay? Um, you are called to be the light and to alleviate the lonely. You are called to help create a legacy and generational wealth for your family, and for other people's families. You are called to discover and use your gifts and talents to glorify God. You are called to be a destiny shifter and you are called to be an overcomer. Embrace every challenge, okay? Every single challenge is a gift. You need to develop the needed character and faith for God to fulfill his promise. You have to go through all the hard times to get to diamond. You have to endure and, and grow through every time that you, that someone quits, that someone criticizes you, uh, that you go back in rank, that you go for a rank and miss a rank. I went for diamond this year and missed it. Nothing <laughs> at this point, I'm unstoppable. I went there and it didn't happen. Okay. And that needed to happen for me to step into my next level of growth, for me to get hungrier, for me to get out of my comfort zone, for me to realize that there were things in my character that God still wanted to refine. And I can see it so clearly. And that has been a bigger gift than hitting diamond. So get excited 
for every challenge that happens. Every, every hard season, get excited because it means you're one step closer to being done. Uh, the second part that I want to talk about is what empower of what powers your personal momentum is your identity. And this is something I'm very, very passionate about because I completely changed my whole identity. <laughs> I mean, I'm still inherently me at my core, but I got, you get to choose. You get to choose your identity. You don't have to just be, oh, I'm not this kind of person. I'm not that kind of person. Um, you get to choose, okay? And so I wanna tell you some stories about how I shifted my whole entire identity to be here, okay? Um, I started my business at 26 years old. At the time, I thought I was grown. Now I look back and I was like, I yeah, well, I don't know. I just went for it, okay? Um, I was a mother to three. When I became a mother, I was a teenage mother. So that really impacted my identity greatly. Um, I was a military wife and I just pretty much had a supportive role for my husband who, um, you know, is, he's special forces. He's gone all the time, training all the time, deployments all the time. And so I just had this supportive role and I was, I did start going to college. I was going, I was pursuing dental hygiene and then Plexus came into my life and I dropped out for Plexus to do Plexus. Um, and so then I became a college dropout, which was a plus. Um, and people thought, um, uh, people thought, I was crazy. Okay. But I, I knew what I was doing at that point. Um, so aside from being a wife and a mother, I didn't have a strong sense of purpose or a healthy and empowered identity. Um, I thought and openly told myself and others that I had no noteworthy gifts or talents. Um, I grew up when I was growing up, I didn't do sports. I didn't, I never excelled or achieved anything. I just was there, you know? Um, so I, I believe that about myself. Um, so when I started the business, when this, when this came into my lap at, at first, of course, I was too afraid of the opinions of others to say yes to this opportunity. Um, uh, but I prayed and asked God for confirmation and because I couldn't stop thinking about it. Y'all know how that is. It's like, why is this on my mind? I don't even want to do this. Um, but I got that week, I got a prophetic word at church and two additional confirmations that week. Um, in that word, he said some things I'd never heard before in my life. Um, he said, I was very smart, that I was smart with relationships, that I was a good communicator, that I was good at learning, that I could trust my gut and that I was going to be a woman of excellence in the marketplace. No one ever told me that no one ever spoke anything into me of that magnitude. Nobody told me I was smart ever. Well, people told me that I was smart. So, you know, like my mom, you know, my mom, told me, you know, but I didn't, I didn't grow up hearing that or that you're so successful or you're so good at this or that. I'd never heard that, you know, um, I was just kind of a goofball who was positive and would stay out of the way, you know? Um, and so what I have to say, I bring that up because I want you guys to know that you, all of us have the power to not wait for somebody to have to get a prophetic word from a stranger at church. We can go to them right now and we can say, hey, you know what? I don't know if anybody's told you this, but I think you are so smart. It's, it's casting vision. I think you're so smart. I think you're such a good communicator. I think that if you put your mind to something, you could be so successful. I really enjoy being around you. I love your energy. We all have the power to go to people right now and infuse that identity into them because people don't, yeah, I appeared confident on the outside. Nobody probably knew, you know, um, but we have the power to go and do that for people. This is a gift that we get to give. And that is one of the biggest gifts that you can give anyone, anybody calling out their strengths and believing in them. We get to do it every day. What, like, what is better? What's better than that? Empowering people. Um, our personal identity has the power to hold us back or propel us forward. But remember, you get to choose. So I want you to ask yourself and be real with yourself. How often do I let a limited identity hold me back from being a greater version of myself? 
I used to say, you know, you hear all the time, I don't, I don't have enough time and I can't wake up early. I'm not a morning person. Um, I wasn't a morning person either. I, I, I hated mornings. I, uh, couldn't wake up early for the life of me, but guess what? I changed my identity and now I am a morning person. Now I actually love mornings because you get to choose. You get to decide. None of these things that you believe about yourself. Um, I have ADD and it's real bad, <laughs> but I don't let it define me. I have it, but it doesn't have me. I have learned how to focus. I have learned supplements extra, like I take bee pollen and stuff. You know, I like, I know exactly what time I need to sit down and drink my active and sit down. And because now I, I'm a time blocker and I used to be a disorganized free spirit mess. And now I time block and now I'm organized and I, I you get to choose. Isn't that the most empowering thing? Wow. Nothing has to hold you back because you decide you have the power. Okay. So I went from disorganized and free spirited to time blocking organized, disciplined, and that actually made me free because I wasn't free before. I was a mess before. I went, um, I went from hating mornings to productive morning person, from being an underachiever to ambitious and successful, from below average to a person who loves learning, from ADHD deficit to unstoppable and focused, from shame-filled past to life-giving leader, from self-doubt to self-trust, from horrible storyteller to impactful trainer, from popular to powerful, from orphan to chosen daughter of God. And that is my number one identity that I have worked on so much this year. That's been, that's been a theme. So, you know, I, I can't not say that that is my number one identity. That's brought the most freedom for me leaning into that. I started off with reading Psalm 139 in the Passion Translation every single day. Read that every day and let that wash over you. And then after that, tell me tell me how loved and how cherished and how special you are because that will empower you, number one. So highly recommend that, Psalm 139 in the Passion Translation because that is fire. Okay. Um, I still have had, you know, in my past six and a half years of doing Plexus, I've still had seasons where I've had to battle doubt, shame, discouragement, but I have developed a daily habit of infusing myself with powerful declarations, visible affirmations of my worth, capability um, of being a success. I got familiar with my pain points and what I'd have to give up if I gave up and let doubt win. Developing a strong, I've developed a strong sense of purpose and identity, which has carried me through every doubt, every betrayal, every loss in rank, every slow year, every contest and goal I missed, every criticism, every failure. And that is, and that is, that's what it's going to do for you too, because you all are going to get clear with your purpose and write it down and get familiar. The race is not given to the quick success rock stars but to the ones who endure to the end. So if you're in this room right now, I want you to know that you are 100% capable, worthy and deserving of success. All the work and persevering you will do will pay off. And it is so worth it to have this life full of impact, freedom, and abundance. You got this.